Onto your toes, twist and lift and up. Keep looking. Now reach towards it. Just say one turning stag. Sarah is undoubtedly, you, you won't get better than Sarah. You can look a very, very long way, but you will not get better than Sarah. Without a coach, we haven't got a good athlete, so we haven't got a good sports person. Um, Sarah stands out. The passion is as something you're born with. It's just inside. She's so passionate. Mm. She lives, breathes and eats it. And curling small. Very nice. That's it. And a reverse bridge. This way round. There you go. And freeze. Uh, coaching is my life. I eat, sleep, breathe, dream. Gymnastics and coaching. Chasse, as you turn, keep looking. Now reach towards it again and do your leap. In my day job, I am a talent development coach for gymnastics for Somerset at the Somerset Activity and Sport Partnership. In the evenings, in my spare time, I'm head coach at City of Bath Rhythmic Gymnastics Club. Gymnastics, I think, is probably the area where most classroom teachers feel least comfortable. Sarah's role, really, is to empower them and to, to give them the confidence to teach that uh, well. Which brings the confidence to, to try the new things, um, ideas of how to link sort of different areas of gymnastics together and then to incorporate the apparatus which obviously encouraged the children to be a bit more adventurous. Well done, a bridge! I had really bad gymnastics experiences when I was a child. It was do a forward roll, not how to do it, just do it and it was awful. And Sarah's shown me how to progress and I've seen every single child progress from literally the beginning of a lesson to the end of a lesson. You make a monkey shape and then you tuck your head under and roll over. I like the monkey and the galloping horses, kangaroos. I like the uh, bit of the ladder and then there's the bench and the red thing and you jump off it. The most rewarding thing about gymnastics is I think just seeing children develop and change and over a long time as well because gymnastics doesn't happen overnight so over a very long period of time it's seeing gymnasts coming to the gym as a small child and maybe from school maybe for an after school club and then gradually over time improving and developing seeing the confidence in the gymnast change and seeing them grow and flourish what young person can't be inspired when they see that sort of passion and that sort of love of what they're doing. The first time she got a national medal for herself as an individual and she, she got a bronze for that and um, she would have been about 14 I think when she took when she got that medal and these are her proudest moments I think getting these national medals. She's achieved what she wanted to do as a gymnast as a coach actually uh, but she has taken her girls to where she wanted to be yeah. nationally She's had knockbacks. I said, are you going to leave it or are you going to carry on? She said, no, I'm going to carry on. Carried on and we went and worked even harder. She mm. really loves the sport and keeps coming back, whatever happens. Yes, yeah, Sarah is passionate about all that she does. She motivates and inspires all those around her, whether it's young gymnasts or young coaches. She just gives everything to the, to the sport, whether that's working with elite, or whether it's working with our youngsters who are just starting. She really does raise the profile of gymnastics for everyone right across Somerset, whether it's from playground to podium. Gymnastics is very important to me. It's pretty much my life. Um, it's been a passion that I've had ever since I was small. I went into the gym at five and have never left the gym. Sport to me sums up life and it's a series of challenges and events that you have to overcome. So you may get thrown, a load of bad things come your way, but you have to persevere, fight on through them, and think outside the box. There's always a way to get through, and there's always a way to overcome the challenge and succeed. I nominated Sarah for the Community Sports Coach of the Year Award because she is so special. She has made such an impact on gymnastics in Somerset. I won Community Sports Coach of the Year for Sports Coach UK 2007. I got to go up to London to the Dorchester Hotel and was award, uh, presented my award by Princess Anne. It was an absolutely fantastic event. Sarah is funded partly by Sport England and she is able, in her role as community sports coach, to raise the profile of gymnastics, whether it's with youngsters 
in the playground or the elite who are aspiring to the 2012 Olympics. I look for one little thing. It's like looking for um, like a gem in the rough or an unpolished diamond. And you see a little corner that's shiny and you think, oh, there's something there. So they might not have the whole package, but they might just have a little corner that you can see. And then gradually my job is just to polish it up and try and see that gem start to appear through the hours of training, the hours of work. And then gradually the diamond becomes a shape and becomes shiny and glittering and fantastic. I hope that I manage to inspire people because of my passion. I really do. I mean, I've got it just in me. It's just something I do and I wouldn't do anything else differently. Um, so I hope that comes across and I hope that enthusiasm is passed on. Yeah.